hi and welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven. Today I'm attending an anime convention, Anime Fest Plus in Tropicana Gardens Mall. Yeah. So behind me there are quite a number of figure booths. I'm going to show you guys some of the vehicles, some of the footages of my walk around videos on the figures on sale in this event. Maybe comment on some of them and let's see if there is anything that interests me. I might purchase a couple of figures maybe price figures because I'm planning to show you guys some figure photography projects in the near future yeah so let's walk around and have a look at the figures on the sale
really am playing with fire by vlogging in an event area. This is a more quiet corner over here because with all those background music playing from the stage, I might accidentally trip a copyright strike from YouTube's AI algorithm. So let's move on to another area and we will talk about the figures I just saw earlier. Alright, now that we are right outside the event grounds, there are a few things I would like to discuss with you guys regarding many of the anime figures I've seen in this event so far. There are actually two or three prize figures I'm kind of interested in and I would like to make content out of them for this channel actually. Yeah, figure photography related stuff using a budget camera as well. Yeah, we'll get to that in a moment. So regarding anime conventions, as you guys saw in the footages I took earlier, about 80% of them, they are all price figures, which is totally no surprise. Every anime conventions in Malaysia are like that, because price figures are what most people can afford. That is all they can afford. And if you look at the price of those scale figures, those that Miku, or maybe that, yeah, that, what was her name again? That Hololife figure. 1200 plus ringgit that is something barely anyone can afford in this country yes except for us veteran collectors who have been in this hobby for a decade maybe longer than that that is the state we are in in this country so a bit of information or tip for you guys who are not from Malaysia what you guys need to know is that in our country the minimum wage, minimum income in this country is only about 350 US dollars. Yes, 350 US dollars. So you could only afford like one single scale figure for your monthly salary if you work in McDonald's, for example, or in yeah, in those blue collar jobs in general, or those jobs that pay you hourly. It is impossible to afford a scale figure. If you buy one, yeah, there goes your monthly expenses for your rent for your food and so on which is why price figures are so popular in this country over here the second thing is that this probably goes without saying whenever you attend any anime figure event always compare prices before buying walk around visit every booth i know this is common sense but i still need to say it you see the price differences across different booths they are so surprising to me yeah this is one of the things that i did not expect for example in this one figure store i won't mention the name but i have partnered with them before in the past sponsorship deals here so there is this price figure of marsh kiwi light in this yukata outfit i think they are selling it for about 85 ringgit each which is very reasonable by local price standards that is a great price for the price figure but then when i move to this store b they have the very same figure for almost double the price yeah you see here this is 150 ringgit the other store was 85 ringgit this is ridiculous but wait not i'm not done yet so the thing with this store is that they are offering a, a buy two free one deal so you buy two price figures from them you get a third one for free so basically they are actually just forcing you to buy more figures so let's say you buy two figures for a total of 300 and you get a third figure for free which means you paid three figures 300 ringgit which means an average of 100 ringgit each which is still more expensive than that store selling one single price figure for 85. This is why you should compare prices before buying. I know that it is more convenient to buy multiple figures from one single store but if you are a cost conscious person, you should be visiting every store, compare prices and then you pick one figure here, one figure there from different stores and when you accumulate everything together, you will save a lot more. Yeah, this is the most important part about any convention to attend. So now speaking of the figures that I am interested, I am always looking for FGO stuff. I don't mind price figures if it is for photography reasons. So there are a few price figures of FGO factors that I was interested in, including the Marsh Curie Light. I have a rather nice photography idea for that. And I would like to put her under this budget photography series of tutorials I'm about to make for this channel. And using a budget camera as well. 
So you are currently watching video filmed on a new camera I just purchased yesterday, a Nikon Z30. Yes, so I'm testing out this camera currently for vlogging. This is an amazing camera for vlogging. Yeah, I'm loving it a lot. The footage you're looking at, it is straight out of camera. I did not do any edits at all. So the colors are fantastic coming out of this camera, the natural colors. So this camera is being marketed for vloggers and content creators in general, but you know, with this kind of cameras where you can change lenses, they are excellent for figure photography. And going forward, because I want my content to be more relatable to you guys watching this channel, it is not like you guys have a lot of money to spend for cameras, you know? Maybe under a thousand dollars, under eight hundred dollars for one single new camera. That is all the budget most people have. This camera will play an important role in figure photography tutorials going forward, as well as the occasional vlogging content like the one you're watching right now. Yeah. So more stuff will be coming to this channel very soon. All right, back to anime figures, price figures that I saw in this event. I was interested in that Marsh Quillite figure. And then I was kind of interested in that Abigail Williams press figure as well until I saw the price. Yeah, that price doesn't make any sense. You can actually find it way cheaper online. So I saw the price, I just moved away and I looked for something else. And then there was this booth selling price figures without any boxes. Yeah, you guys should take a look. We'll jump into the event grounds for a moment. That figure booth behind me, they are selling boxless price figures. Even though the condition of some of the figures are not exactly that great because well, you can see in this figure over here, this is the five figure, yeah, there are some obvious paint transfer issues on the neck. Maybe they are pre-owned figures or they are quality reject figures from the factory, but 60 each. That no longer makes any sense. So we move on and check out the other stuff, the other figure stores. As you can see, most of those figures are from Love Life and I used to photograph Love Life press figures quite a bit so I don't have anything wrong with that. I have visited all of the figure booths in this event and I'm going to need some time to figure out which one is worth purchasing and then maybe after lunch or tomorrow, second day of the event, I'll walk right back in and purchase what I think will give me very good ideas for figure photography. What do you guys think about this ultra cheap 8 to 10 dollars price figures that don't have boxes? The quality might be a bit compromised. Would you still purchase something like that knowing that they are not perfect? I would love to hear your opinions on this. In Malaysia, there is this one variety store. We call it Jelan Jelan Japan over here or JJJ. Yeah, there are several outlets in this country. They actually sell such figures, price figures with no boxes. They just wrap it up in some plastic packaging and then they sell it for anywhere between 20 to 40 or 50 ringgit. This is actually a thing in Malaysia, yes. Given that we can barely afford all of the good figures. If you collect price figures and having seen those figures right there without any boxes and the quality is kind of compromised, you know. Yeah, there are some paint issues for example and they are selling it for a fraction of the price of a brand new one 7, 8 US dollars each Are you willing to buy price figures like that? For any reason, let me know down in the comments below I would love to hear your opinions on this And until then, thank you very much for watching See you soon, bye